Okay, I'm going to record wrapping some gifts. It's early in the morning. Well, it's not too early. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, the camera's a little bit tilted. But anyway, I don't have a Santa Claus hat, but I got a Cappy Mario Odyssey hat. I can wear that, I guess. So, I got a little bit of gifts here. They're basically all for my mom. And uh, I got some cards for some different people. I've given quite a few different people gifts. Uh, so, I wanted to do a lot more. and uh, But I did what I could. So, kind of last minute thing. But I got a, a few co-workers uh, some gift cards. And that's not what that is, but that's for my mom, my aunt, my uncle, and my mom's friend, Jack. Basically all people who have helped me out, so uh, it's easy to, you know, to get gifts for them. Uh, and I've got some gifts for some other people as well, but uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap some of my mom's gifts. But I want to make sure that I... I spent pretty much all my money, and I didn't really even think about getting Christmas wrap. That's like the last thing that I was worried about, really. So, Mom let me have what she had left, so I don't even know how much wrap that I have. But mainly, I want to at least make sure that I wrap the biggest gifts first because I got this bag for my mom and if I have to put all these little ones in there without being wrapped or whatever then I can do that. So I think my grandma showed me how to wrap gifts uh, about a while ago. I'm not gonna do this perfect by any means, I don't even care. A lot of people are surprised that I would wrap gifts at all. <laughs> I guess they just think that it's weird that a man would grab this or something, I don't know. But my grandma probably wouldn't be happy with the way that I do it, so I'm going to do it sloppy, I don't care, so, I don't know. Whatever. Shot more than I wanted to there, but I don't know that I care really. I might just go ahead and just tape it like that. <laughs>
I woke up at 3 a.m., went to work till 1, and I got a couple of gifts on my break at work. <clears throat> but after work, I knew I had to make a trip to another town. That's about just say like an hour from where I work or whatever. That's sloppy, but this is good enough for me, so. But anyways, so I work at Walmart, and once I got off work, I had to go to another Walmart in another town because it's bigger. <laughs> and, uh, and also do some other things in that town. And so then I ended up driving back to the, my old Walmart to where I, to where I work. Um, to give a couple of co-workers gifts and, and get a couple of other gifts and uh, so it was like you know I worked all morning and then it was like back and forth driving trying to get to places before they were closed you know calling places getting there and also trying to see like what's available still still if some of the gifts that I was had in mind to get because it was like last minute shopping it was on Christmas Eve I'm lucky that I got what I did, and unfortunately I couldn't do some of the things that I wanted because it was too late or whatever. But so be it. So, I don't know what bow looks nicer on this one. There's that one with the, I don't know if I like the just straight red one. We're just going to top of a bow on top of it, so... Hmm... Wow, okay, so all we have, like, besides that is, like, green... Let's see... Hmm... I'll go ahead and use this one, who cares, it's getting ripped off. I'm going to put it up in the corner. So I'm probably going to set the bag on top of it, and I'm just going to carry it all in. But I did a lot of running around back and forth. Finally, around 5 or 6 o'clock, I had everything that I wanted. And I was just thinking about hanging out with my cousin. And I figured, you know, I'm probably going to see him Christmas night or the day after. I figured sometime we'll probably be able to catch up because I have the days off. And I know he does. And we haven't hung out for a while. So I was like, why wait until then? I just messaged him, you know, you want to hang out? I was stressed all day, you know, working and trying to get Christmas figured out. And also the money situation, just watching the money drain. And So I just went and hung out with him, basically, until about 11 or midnight. And I was going to wrap gifts when I got home, and I'm like, screw it, I don't have to do that. I'm just going to rest, and I'll just do it when I wake up in the morning. Because I know I'll wake up early, because I'm used to waking up early for work anyway, so. Oh. I bought this little felt Santa bag at Dollar General <laughs> for Mom. I was looking for gift bags, and, uh, you know, usually I just want something that looks really nice, you know. And there wasn't a whole lot that really looked that great there. You know, I, I, did, I forgot to look at Walmart and stuff, but I, I wanted to see what they had at Dollar General on. I saw this, and this is a goofy. This will make mom smile, you know, for a second. So, <laughs> I think it's worth it just to, to make her say, oh, look how silly that is. And, but I wanted to get a, a bag to put all these little gifts in. So, what I just wrapped was a electric burner. With two burners, like a stove top, because for whatever reason, my mom's stove doesn't work. I guess it hasn't worked for a while. And she's had to use the oven and the microwave to cook, which is a lot of times mostly how I cook. But, uh, you know, I think this would be nice for her, you know. Like, I like to use my stove top every now and then, you know, to cook noodles, to boil stuff in pots, or to, to fry up ground beef in a pan or whatever. And so I was going to get her an electric skillet. I thought about that. And uh, then I saw these burners, and I'm like, well, that's pretty much like a stove top, and she can use her own pots and pans, and she can have, you know, a variety of things that she can do. I don't know how well that work. It wasn't really expensive, but hopefully, you know, I don't know if she'll use it or not, but I think it's something that she could definitely use. So 
if she ever, you know, wants to have a different variety of what she's eating. So the first idea that I got for Christmas, something that I ordered on Amazon, um, that I didn't have to last minute get, is a <coughs> a Fujifilm Instax Mini 11. This is a mini Polaroid camera, basically. Mom hasn't had a camera for a long time. I don't know if she'll really use this. I don't know if she'll understand how to use it. I hope so. But it has these little Polaroid uh, photos. I bought this at Walmart. And um, a girl that I was talking to wanted one of these, and I got her one, an older model. And uh, she liked to take pictures with it, and I thought, you know, Mom might enjoy something like that too, maybe, I don't know. Maybe she'll want to have pictures with her sister, or pictures with me, or whoever else. You know, it at least gives her the option. So... So that's what I did. And then to go with that, I got a little case for it. It's an all-white camera, and this is like an all-white camera case, you know, which is kind of bland, but, uh, and it could also get dirty easily, I understand that, but, they had other colors, I know my mom likes black a lot, I wanted to get an all black one, but it was looking like, you know, it might not arrive before Christmas and stuff, and I wanted to get something like, you know, in two day shipping, I wanted to get something like as soon as possible, I didn't want to wait on something like this, and, you know, not come through, so, there were different colors, but, you know, I thought all white's kind of nice, so hopefully she'll like that. This is like a mini photo album that she should be able to put the photos in, so, um, to give her, you know, something to start with, anyways, if she does take pictures, she can save that in there, so. I'm going to wrap these next, and somehow, I wanted to wrap, uh, these together, because... The photos by themselves is kind of like a boring gift, like, oh, just photos, you know, but if these come together, it doesn't really matter, though, but I'm thinking, how do I want to do this? And I don't really have a box that I can put them both in, and I was wondering, you know, if I want to wrap these two together, too, I thought about that. They could be separate. They're kind of interesting as their own individual gifts. I just don't think that just getting, oh, you know, extra pictures, you know, it's kind of part of the deal. Like, you can't really take pictures with the camera without having these, so... I don't know. I don't know if I can wrap these together. This. Okay, well, never mind. I'm going to go back with what I said before because I said that I want to make sure that I get the biggest gifts wrapped. So let's jump over to this. This is a Morio Kart Live Home Circuit. Basically what this is is uh, a Morio Kart game for the Switch. Uh, it comes with a little remote control of Luigi car in this one. And it comes with these... I don't know what you call them, goal posts or whatever. There's like four or five of them. You set them up around the room, wherever, you know, where you live. And uh, basically you make your own racetrack. And the game understands everything. And you set, you set up the finish line and everything. And, and uh, it adds in enemies and items and stuff on the screen. And so, like, you're playing a video game, but you're also controlling this remote-controlled vehicle, like, physically, like, in your actual house. And, um, anyway, my cousin never particular said that he wanted this, uh, but he, uh, I know he likes Mario Kart, I'm sure that he's gonna like it. I guess they have different carts that you can get. I don't know if they just have Mario and Luigi or not. I saw this at uh, the Macomb Walmart, it's the Walmart that I went to, not the one I work at. I saw it like a week or so ago, and I was like, oh, they have those, and for some reason it clicked at that point there, I thought, you know, well, that would be cool, a cool gift for Ryan, you know, and it's something I would enjoy myself, and I thought, if I get this for him, and then I get it for myself, we can play two players, and we can race each other, so that's kind of cool. But either way, 
I think he'll enjoy it, and he's totally not going to expect this. So, that's good, because I like to surprise people. So, but, um, yeah, this is going to be awesome. Now, so when I went to Macomb, <coughs> I, I wanted to kind of avoid going to the other Walmart, because I knew it was probably going to be chaotic, and, uh, I called GameStop. I asked GameStop if they had any of these, and they said no. So, GameStop's kind of lousy for a game store anymore. Used to be better, but. Now, I was going to add some weird. I could still do this, because I was thinking even to surprise Ryan more, because if he sees the size of the box, he might know what it is. He might not, because he might not even be thinking about this game. But if I added some things around it and made this package look weirder, he would totally not know what it is. So, uh, I think I'm going to do that. Because, like I said, I like surprises. And uh, I've done this with Ryan before. I bought him a video game, <coughs> or games, and put them in like a bigger box. And then I put like a concrete block or something in there. <laughs> so it's like really heavy. And I'm like, what do you think this is? He's like, I don't know, it's really heavy. And then there's just like games inside of it. So, uh, man, I know I had some newspaper in my car, but I think that I threw that out the other day. So I gotta think, what could I do? I don't know. I've got these boxes. You could like sandwich it like this. <laughs> so, it's, so it's like bigger, like a weird shape. That would use a lot of wrapping paper, but uh, hmm. Well, I guess it's an idea. I was just gonna add like wads of paper around it and make it like odd shapes or make it look like softer or something. So it's kind of light. This would take up a lot more paper if I did it this way. Hmm. Try this. This will just waste my paper. That's okay. It's not gonna take a lot of paper to wrap what I got from my own mom. I just don't know how this will be sliding around in there. I mean, I could be really delicate when I hold it and just carry it, like, from the bottom. This is silly. Uh-huh. <clears throat> 
but <clears throat> anyway, it's going on. Like I said, I didn't know if there's, I mean, I don't know if it's just Mario and Luigi, but I didn't see that it was Luigi until I got out to the vehicle. So, I mean, if I had a choice or something, I would have gotten Mario. But I just saw that they had some in stock and I was surprised. And so I immediately just went to the guy working there, and I was like, I want, you know, that in there. So I just took it and left. I don't think my cousin's going to complain, though. He's probably going to be like, yeah, sorry, I know it's Luigi, but... And I'm sure he'll be like, I don't care, I like it anyway, but... That's probably why they were there. It was only the Ouija ones left, probably. But nah, it's not gonna ruin you know, how fun the game is. It doesn't matter. It's gonna be awesome. Hope that he'll want to set it up and play it. I really want to see. And I'm not sure if my cousin is. Uh, Worried about it maybe not working on carpet or something too. He might know that it does, but he might not. He might he might think that it might not work so well, but I've seen videos where it works on carpet, so it should work. I think he's got plenty of room to use it. See, that makes it look like a completely weirder shaped box. <laughs> it's all like lopsided and stuff. You won't have any idea what that is. That's good. His can get a bow right in the middle. I'm not using any ribbon or anything, but you know. This is a cheap ghetto way. This is how us broke people do it. Just like that. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, you probably know what this is by looking at the box. He's gonna be like, oh, well, what that is. Okay, now I'm going to try to switch back and forth between these wrapping papers for mom. Make it a little interesting. I don't know if I'm going to use bows on these, but I could. I could, at least on these and on the top. I think I am going to do these together. Uh, the, the camera and the... So, how do we... how much room do I want? None of this is cut even or wrapped even or anything. <laughs> so it's kind of, I can tell the difference between good wrapping paper and bad wrapping paper though because like last year I bought wrapping paper from Dollar General and it was like the thinnest paper and it tore like so easily. Mom got this from Walmart. This is some pretty good wrapping paper. So you want your wrapping paper to be a little bit durable because when you get like the paper, paper, thin wrapping paper, that, that's a pain in the butt to work with. This I can be rough with. I'm just wadding it up on the ends of it. Mom's not gonna care. Uh oh. Mom gave me an empty roll of tape, man. I've got some more tape though. It's not gonna be fun to use, but I could have been a little bit more conservative on how much I use here, but hopefully I can finish this one with what I got. I'm going to have to use some pack packing tape for the rest of it, probably. Well, there might be more left. I think it's getting low. It was looking like it was out, but it might not be out yet. Is. 
So I got mom the burner and I got her this camera and the film that goes with it and I got the case and I got the photo album. Um, And I'm going to throw in this uh, Alexa smart plug. I got a really good deal, and I got this for a dollar. It's worth about $20. Amazon gave this deal, which I thought was really cool. And uh, I have mom some Alexa devices, and uh, we'll see if she can use this, if she likes it, if it works for her. It'll be interesting, and I might get one for myself sometime. But basically, it's a plug that's powered by Alexa device, and she can say, you know, Alexa, turn on the light, or turn on the TV, or whatever. Whatever she plugs into this, however we set it up, she can turn it on by voice command, basically. Turn on the light, and the light will come on, you know, or turn off the light. Um, or turn on the fan, or turn off the fan, or whatever. So... <clears throat> That's just a nice little thing. She might think that's cool. She might be able to use it. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how well it's going to work. But, uh... So, I got that for a gift for her. We're going to wrap that separately. So, I'll go ahead and use some of this remaining back here. Past years, that's what I've done. Let's give her this, these Alexa devices. Uh, I think they've been somewhat helpful to her. Well, I mean, especially the last one because I got her the Echo Show and it has a video camera, and I got my own Echo Show, and uh, I could call her. And We have video chats, but I can help her with the TV because uh, she's not so technologically advanced. <laughs> no. And uh, so I can help her figure out whatever you know she wants to watch, or if I want her to watch something, I can help her figure out how to see it. And so I think it's been really helpful, at least that. She understands how to make calls with it or to answer the call, which is good enough. So, here's those two gifts. And last year I got her quite a bit of gifts, and they were kind of bigger gifts. Feels like I'm giving her less this year, but uh, but these are some good gifts, I think. So I'm happy with what I got her. I know she'll like it, she'll be happy either way, but I wanted to do more. I wanted to do more for lots of different people. But uh, this case also has a strap on it if you wanted to carry it. The camera has its own strap, but this is a nicer protective case. So, you know, a lot of people, when we get our smartphones now, we get cases for them, and everything has to have its own protective case, and it's just, it's kind of like something you almost got to have. It's like something you definitely want to have. So, I guess we're not worry about making it so pretty. So, I've decided to wrap these separately, the photo album and the case. Make it a little more fun, you know, the more gifts you get open, the more fun, but I like to have the gifts at least have a purpose for kind of opening themselves. 
It's like, you know, like with the photo things, it's like if you bought something electronic for somebody that needed batteries and then like the separate gift was batteries. And I know some people have done that. I think some people have done that for me. If it's like a huge pack of batteries or something, that's kind of cool. But if it was just like a double pack, it's kind of like, oh. You know, you open it and it's like, oh, some batteries. <laughs> so, I'll put things together that make sense together. Oh, I've really been, I've been, it's really a blessing to give, it really is, and you know, I've been, I've had my ups and downs in life, and I've had my moments, you know, where I was jobless and everything, and struggling or whatever else, and it's like when I come around to having some money to spend, it's nice to to be able to uh, to give back, you know, so. Give the people who help you, or even if you give the strangers, you know, just to brighten somebody's day. This is definitely extra wrapping for this. cousin the other night playing games and I talked to him about recording us playing games or talking or whatever before and he uh, seems like he might be coming around to it. <laughs> 